under 66 kilogram. This is our last final of the day. The winner of this one will go through to the 2022 World Championships. Now, interesting note, Cole Abate with the bare chest. Only 16 years of age, Amazing. Sean. Amazing. And Keith Krikorian, believe it or not, this 10th Planet Black Belt, this is the third time that he has made it through to the ADCC Trials Finals. He made it through to the final of the East Coast Trials 2018. He made it through to the final of the West Coast Trials 2019. This is his third shot at coming, well, booking a ticket to compete at the 2022 World Championships. Look at this. Abade with some wrestling. Haven't seen much of that from him in this uh, in this match so far. Uh, excuse me, in this tournament so far. And yeah, he just Abate, used it. Abate, excuse me, Abade's had a, a number of matches, and it's interesting to see that he finally unveils the wrestling in the final. Yeah, he used it to sit down, down to the guard there. Did a good job of getting that single and then using it to sit to the to the guard without any penalty, so. Abate, six matches to make it through into the finals here this weekend. Three submissions, three points wins. Took out some big names along the way, including a points win over John Callistine and another over Estevan Martinez. I gotta tell you though, that that single wasn't bad. <laughs> he, was, he was in, he pulled it in. It looked good. Yeah, it did. It looked good now in this <laughs> leg entanglement as well. You see the way that he's got that leg on the shelf here, but Gregorian, man, I'm just thinking back. He's, he scored three submissions in his uh, six matches to get here. Excuse me, five matches. He had one forfeit, uh, two points wins. But, you know, looking for a heel hook here on Abate. And this is Keith Gregorian 101. He was so aggressive in his last match against Gianni Grippo. He was constantly looking for the leg locks. And I will have to note that... If you didn't see it, his semi-final match, he was able to submit Gianni Grippo with a rear naked choke with only 14 seconds left in the regulation period. And that is a huge win because Gianni was one of the highest ranked uh, grapplers. I think he was the number one seed in this division and has only been submitted six times since 2014. And Krikorian mm -hmm. added his name to that list. Abate was actually the number two seed in this division, Sean. Yeah. And Amazing. people might question that. They might be, well, he's only a 16-year-old kid. He's only a blue belt. Uh, listen, forget that. Forget <laughs> he's only 16. Forget he's only a blue belt. Th this is a special athlete you're witnessing right here. And yes, it's the early stages of his career competing in the professional ranks, but he's ready to go. That's correct. And, uh, and it shows. I mean, seated two, he's in the finals. So that's the worst he could do <laughs> is to seed. So yeah, that, that ex early exchange, what happened is he threw the leg over the front and he had an outside position and Kikorian relaced. He th literally threw his leg over the top and that was then ended up in the 50-50 uh, heel hook. That's that first exchange of what happened there. Anytime you have your legs on the outside, you're gonna run a risk of, of getting counter attack. You just always have to remember that when if, you're, if you like the legs and if you're fairly new to the legs, you see a lot of finishes from the 50-50 position and from the outside position, but you always have to remember that when your legs are on the outside, you are also vulnerable, so. I like to say that when your legs are on the outside, you should be finishing the heel hook. You bring your legs to the outside to intensify or, or add more pow breaking power, but you don't bring them to the outside just to expose the heel. But that's a safe mentality anyway with the, the legs. Points are now in effect. We are halfway through this regulation period. There's uh, an eight minute match in the finals with the First four minutes being no points, the second four minutes being points, and I believe nice, yeah. that Kolobade coming yep. on top like that, that uh, could be a reversal points right yep. there. Yep. Yeah, should two be, points on the board for yep. Abade. And then two. look at this, immediately looking to go around it to take the back. Man, the, you know the one thing about Abade is not only is he technically so proficient, settles into the side control right now. That is a big score there for Abade. Not only is he technically very, very proficient, but also strategically so sharp. I mean, yeah. he's got Guy Mendez in his corner. Guy Mendez, of course, his, his brother Hafa came in and won the ADCC World Championships as a teenager. And, uh, you know, this is just, they know 
what's necessary to win. They know how to win, not just how to win technically, strategically, everything necessary to win. It's a, it's a trait that cannot be overstated. Yep, that's well put. Right now, Abate has a body lock here underneath. Still only two points though for Abate. Yeah. No, no points for pass, just for the, uh, just for coming up on top. But Cole, man, he's in a, such a strong position. Look at this. Yeah. And is it just me, Sean? He looks big for this weight he class. He does. He's, he's, a, he's an athlete for sure. He's just, just getting started, really. He's 16 years old. He's got a lot of growth, to, a lot of growing to do. That's a pass either side. That's a little nice pass. Can hip forward oh hard. Oh, man, yeah, very look good. at that. Pops the hips forward. To yes just blow past the guard and settles down once again into this north-south position. That is a, oh wow, that's a statement right there. Five points to zero now. And the body chasing the back. Oh, look at this, has he got an arm? He does. Decorian does a good job of countering. He manages to escape the arm bar, locks up uh, just a triangle with the legs, just around the head, no arm in, but still. Gregorian, man, he was in trouble there for a moment. This, there's no submission threat right there, right? It's just nah. a frustra it's you, very frustrating when you just hold your opponent there. C correct, and you can hold and then try to get something else going or an escape going, but it's difficult to do a triangle in that scenario with no arms. Gregorian got to be careful here. It's the way that he was poking his head out on that single leg. This has given Abate the opportunity to go for it. Harness grip, seatbelt from the back, and it's now put on the body triangle from the back. That's more points on the board. 65 seconds left, and it is now eight points to zero for Abate. Man, he is just running up the score here. Yeah, that body triangle now from almost from the mount. He's keeping underhook here, does Cole. That, there you go. That'll help keep him on board. I'd like to see him actually make a right underhook if he was falling off there. But. Going for the arm. Plenty of time to work, 40 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, Corian's getting a good defense here. Cole needs to face the legs, go all the way under, face the legs or other. Corian's probably gonna dive on a leg here if he, if he manages to get out. He's gonna post up a leg in the middle and he might slide in on a leg if he gets out of this arm just to try to, try to get something going with just 15 seconds left. Cole just stayed way ahead of the of the process there. Yes, he did. And I feel that like to, uh, that kickoff and, and coming up on top, yeah, it's gonna be two more points. 10-0, 10-0 yeah. for Cole Abate, who books his ticket to the 2022 <laughs> ADCC World Championships. Very dejected, very disappointed looking for the Florian, but man, huge win there, Cole Abate.